Hi friends. So we're at Train of Dogs, we thought we'd take you along for the journey today. Uh, at the moment with the three German Shepherds, Mead and Jazz are working on turning into working dogs. Uh, we're at a point where we're starting to do some like man trailing slash area searches. <laughs> Yeah, so they're like six and a half, seven months old. Um, and this is the third session of us doing this. Um, and this is kind of like, we're just implementing to them or showing to them that when they're uh, you know, searching, it's searching for a person um, rather than just tracking for articles. So we use a different command to what we do, the tracking, because the tracking's not finished. Um, and it, you know, this is where we're showing them like, within an area like where there's buildings or whatever like that if someone's hiding and you can be sent toward there to find that person specifically and so you know, we might do this with uh bite work later on we'll almost yeah certainly if we'll definitely be done with bite work later on um, but at the moment we're still developing their grips and getting them biting the way that we want um, so we reinforce them with food when they find us at the at this point and so uh, being the third time that we've done this we've in the past we're showing them the food and getting them really agitated for it and then uh, I'd run off and they'd have to find me and get reinforced today we're not going to show them the food they're just going to see me run off obviously yeah, before they can call them finished, they need to not see me run off. So we got all three dogs, we'll do a few reps each. Being that we've been here uh, three times, this is the third, like we'll rotate who goes in what direction. So we're able to use the same area, the same training space uh, a lot uh, because we can just use a different dog on each space. Let's go. So one of the challenges we face training here is that it's an off-leash area. Anyone can come with their dogs here, and in fact, they do. This guy, we meet pretty much every week, and his owners say he's a Labrador. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. So for us, it's like critically important that uh, our dogs learn to work around other dogs. So we you know, don't have the luxury of an enclosed training space, uh, and we're training around the presence of other dogs, you can see. This is a like heavily trafficked dog walkers area. Um, and it's a pain in the ass to start, but in the long run, it, it helps us beautifully. Cause like it makes our learning phase more difficult, but it makes our proofing phase like inherent to the learning. Uh, they have to learn to work around dogs right from the get go, rather than having to introduce that as a problem to solve later on. It's like Frank's like, no, no, I don't want this. <laughs> So we're going to do a little bit of uh, grip work with the, the boys. Um, we're trying to follow Jerry Bradshaw's book, Controlled Aggression, as close as we can. And so right now we're just trying to develop that back teeth biting with the strap. So it's not really bite work, it is, um, but all we're using at the moment as far as equipment goes is this strap, the leather strap. We're trying to convince them to that they're more effective biting with their molars and clamping it shut and that way I can't steal it. And if they put it in the front, I can steal it via the front. There's times even though I could steal it from the back that I don't because I want to show them that it's more effective. And also there's an element of uh, precision in putting it where uh, where you want it so that it happens. Like sometimes it happens by accident and they're effective and sometimes you have to put it there and show them, hey, look, you're effective there.
that's it. That's dog training done for the day. Right now I'm gonna knock out a workout myself. I'm in my favorite place. Got my favorite kettlebells. 